Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Danny and this is Project Fern. If you watch my full service video on the Blingo, when we went to take the spark plugs out, I snapped an oil breather pipe. So I've got a new one of them to put on today. And we also noted that the rocker covers were leaking. They've probably never been replaced. So we're gonna get some new ones put on today. So these are the rocker gaskets. There are two types. There's one without this middle section in. I can't remember what this is called. It might be called a rocker or oil plate. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it goes off engine number this. So it'll tell you if your engine's up to this number, you use the one where it's just the normal standard looking gasket with no innard. And if you go past that number, then you have to use this one. The engine number you'll find on your V5, pretty straightforward. I think it's a seven digit code and just make sure you double check which one it is because most parts sites do list both of them and it's down to you to pick the correct one. And then here we've got that new oil breather pipe. I did do a temporary fix on it, but it wasn't good enough for me. I'll put the links to these down in the description and I'll also put what engine numbers um, determine which rocker cover gasket you get as well. The first job today is to take these six Torx 20s out of this spark plug cover, get that whipped off, and then we can go from there. Next up is to just remove this oil breather pipe from the two rocker covers. So you simply just push these tabs in. They can be a bit stiff. I'd always advise people to try and push them in with a screwdriver first, but don't do what I did and pull on this because you're gonna snap them. Always pull on the, the more secure plastic rather than on the brittle pipe. I just want to put the top here and then we've got the breather inside here. One second, I'm just going to go and double check how much I need to take off on the new pipe. Right, so it's the whole section. There's a little tab underneath that I'm not going to be able to get my finger to. And then there's also a connector that goes on here. I'm going to get a little screwdriver and see if I can pop that in. Perfect, and then we've just got this last little connector here, which is the same again. It's just got a tab on the top here, and thank God for that. That's the old pipe off, and we've not snapped anything buzzing. Now we've got that pipe out of the way, I'm going to start releasing all the rocker cover bolts. They're a 10 milli bolt. In the manual, it just says working a spiral in fashion. There is a sequence that you tighten these back up to, which we'll get into when I put them back on. But for this moment in time, it's just a case of getting them off and eat, trying to prise these gaskets off. As you saw there, that came off a lot easier than I thought. I thought we were gonna have a little battle, but luckily we've got the right gaskets. Um, and what we'll do now is we'll just give it a little clean up before we start changing anything. I'm gonna get the back one off as well and undone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a blow off so nothing falls inside the engine before I take these covers off. Then take them off, clean the cylinder head up, clean these off as well, give them a good wipe down, make them look pretty again. And I think what we're going to do is probably end up taking the coil pack, depending on how bad it is behind there, take the coil pack off again and give it a good clean under there.
gutted. So this sensor is actually blocking this last bolt. So I'm just going to get that with a spanner uh, rather than take all this off. At times like this, I'd kill for a set of ratchet spanners, but unless I need one all the time, I probably won't buy a set because, like, tools are expensive and where do you actually stop with it? That's the last bolt out. See that one's up. There we go. Right, I'm going to get the Makita blower now on this. Just give it all a blow off while everything's covered. I'll keep my hands on top of the rocker covers just in case they blow off or move. And then we can get them whipped off, cleaned up, and the new gaskets put on on the bench. This is my Makita blower and probably one of the best things I've ever bought. I use it for all sorts of stuff. Sorted. Right, let's get these rocker covers off and get them over onto the bench. Everything looks super clean in there. The camshafts look in amazing condition. Very little wear on them for 150,000 miles. So I can see where the gasket's been breached. It was more on this side here where it's been weeping down and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly wipe off the ceiling edge, make sure there's no old gasket stuck there which I don't think there is it's come off in one piece it's a rubberized unit it has gone pretty brittle and then I'll wipe that off and then we'll get over to the bench now and start working on the rocker covers I'm just working wiping to the outwards rather than knocking it into the actual cylinder head if that makes sense. This is my trusty Max Scraper. I've had this since I was an apprentice. 20 years old, this thing. I still think they do them. I've given that a good scrape now. I've got a fresh rag. I've got some brake cleaner. I'm just going to wet the finger as I put it in the rag. I'm just going to wipe that off now and then we're done and we can get over to the bench. Right, that's absolutely spotless now. So let's get over to the bench. While the old gaskets are still on, I'm going to wet them all with brake cleaner, give them a good clean off, make them look like brand new again and then we can change the gaskets on them. I'll also give this a good clean off as well.
that's everything cleaned up i have also used a bit of parts degreaser on it as well so as far as i want to take it this car's going to end up turning into a bloody concourse car at this rate but now all that's clean and i'm happy i'm going to whip them gaskets off underneath and put the new ones on there's only one way these gaskets can go on if you can see there you've got them triangles that point up so you just make sure you've got the triangles that point up on the new gaskets when you put them on same gasket for both sides so i'm going to get me little screwdriver now or a pick and i'm going to whip these gaskets off So that's the two old gaskets off. They're very brittle, them ones. Um, nowhere near as flexible as these, which happens over time. They dry up. Um, the moisture comes out of the rubber or whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to press these back on now. I've had a good look underneath here to make sure there's no none of the old gasket left or anything, which there isn't. So I'm just going to get them pressed in now and then we can get them back on the car. easy as that these protrude so much more than the old gasket obviously it's been flattened over time probably been tightened up and stuff but let's get these back on the car now and then we can get the bolts in place and then we'll go through the tightening sequence and what newton meters you need to tighten them up to that's the rocker covers put back in place now i always like to put the nice shiny bolts at the front and then the not so nice bolts at the back don't know why i do that i just like picking it like that so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to literally use the extension and the 10mm deep and just tighten all these up, just finger tight, nothing major, and then we'll get onto the tightening sequence. I've switched to the 10mm on the quarter drive torque wrench now and set it to 8 newton meters, which is what they need to be tightened up to. And if you just want to pause the video there, that is the tightening sequence for the two rocker covers. So I'll just hold it there for another couple of seconds, but yeah, just pause it there if you're doing it, I'll do a screenshot. But that's what they need to be the order that they should be tightened up in and again it's eight newton meters and i'm using a quart drive torque wrench That's pass one complete. I'm just going to go over them again now and get the back one done. So that's all the bolts torqued up to eight newton meters. Went over them again in that sequence. They're all fine. None had like gone a little bit slack or anything as the gasket compressed. I put the beautiful new pipe on, cleaned everything up, and also cleaned the best I can around where the gaskets were, were weeping before. So I'm going to finish up now by putting that spark plug cover back on, and then I think we're pretty much done for the day.
looks like a brand new engine now a nice simple easy job done today on the Blingo. Next job is going to be the thermostat housing. It's a uh, full unit. It's got the thermostat included in it. And then we'll start moving on to doing the rear axle. I've ordered all the bits for that, which will start coming this week. Um, super chuffed with that job that we've done there today. Hope you'll be confident doing it at home. Um, the gaskets came off a lot easier on some cars. Usually I have to get a bit of a pry bar in there and stuff. They're absolutely stuck solid like they were on the Audi S3 that I did. So again, people... Hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. If you are subscribed and keep coming back to these Blingo videos, thank you very much. Any comments, put in the comment section below. Hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video.